you see here are some uh, this one by four cedar. It's rough on one side, smooth on the other. I've um, already cut out the pieces. What this is going to be is um, in three spots in the bus, um, building shelves into the wall. As you might remember, the walls are hollow. Uh, there's three reasons for this. One, these built-in shelves, they'll end up being uh, four in or eight inches deep. Uh, so they're pretty substantial uh, shelves in three locations. A, a wall of shelves in the bathroom and then two bands of shelves in the, uh, in the bedroom. That's the first reason for the hollow walls. The second reason is uh, um, built-in doors, sliding doors, you know, pocket doors. There's two places. The door into the bathroom is a pocket door and the door into the uh, garage is a pocket door. So you have to have a hollow wall in order to have the door slide into the wall. And the third reason is pulling plumbing and electrical lines is way easier when the hollow when the, when the wall is hollow. Don't have to drill all those holes through the studs. It just weakens the studs. It's just way easier to pull stuff, attach stuff if the uh, walls are hollow. So that's the three reasons for the all the hollow walls. And uh, what I'll do is I'll flip this into time lapse and I'm just building some uh, simple shelf boxes and then those just slip right into the wall and then I nail the box into the wall. I'm setting it so that uh, there's a little bit of a reveal after the wall boards go up so it's slightly out about a half an inch. I think that'll be pretty cool and it also gives the uh, wall board something to butt into to make a nice, uh, make a nice joint. So I'll go ahead and flip this thing to time lapse. I'll nail this thing together. There's actually two units um, forwards and backwards and then uh, I'll go ahead and flip it to time lapse for installing the, the uh, shelf units inside the wall. You can see here's the cavity we're putting these shelves in. We've already done the shelves for the bathroom. This will be the wallboard covered up and the shelves are on this side. I'll show you the other ones in a second. What I'm hanging now will be the back of the shelves from the bedroom. And then I'll do the front of the shelves. <coughs> And I can kind of begin to see how it's going to work. Let's go in here.
So, these are some shelves accessible from the bedroom. We'll close this up with wall boards, either the floor or the uh, or the cedar. I haven't decided yet. Those boards will butt in right here. They're three quarters thick. That'll, that'll leave about a half an inch of reveal here. Um, so the shells will protrude from the wall just a little bit. But again, it's left a nice uh, face to butt the wall boards in on both sides. This will be a, a, a plane of wall boards where we can hang pictures or something on there. But there'll be uh, there's shelves on this side and shelves on this side, accessible from the bedroom. These shelves are backed against the wall boards and accessible from the bathroom.